As the president has stated on numerous occasions, he did nothing wrong. There are no charges against him in this. Uh, and just because Michael Cohen uh, made a plea deal doesn't mean that that implicates the president on anything. Welcome back. Well, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders is right when she said today that there are no charges against the president. But the part about Cohen's plea deal not implicating the president on anything, well, that's dead wrong. Because as we've said, that's exactly what Cohen's plea deal did. The president's former lawyer pleaded guilty to violating campaign finance law with hush payments to women and said then-candidate Trump, or in the plea deal says a federal candidate because it can't name him, told him to do it right before the 2016 election. I'm joined now by Lanny Davis. He's the lawyer for Michael Cohen. Mr. Davis. Hello, Chuck. Uh, I, hope, uh, I, I hope you've been able to at least take a walk around the uh, building there at 400 North Cap uh, throughout the day. Lots of, lots of coffee. Has helped <laughs> let, me, me. let me start with this. I keep hearing the words deal, 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 plea deal. Michael Cohen still is facing jail time. Michael Cohen does not have immunity from anything. Michael Cohen has, has other things. What deal did you cut? Explain what the deal is when I hear the words deal. What makes it a deal? I have no idea. He pled guilty in a corroborative statement with the federal prosecutors. He admitted at the direction and coordination with his client, Donald Trump, not named, but that's who is referred to. This is the wording that the prosecutors and Michael Cohen agreed he would say to the judge under oath at the direction and coordination of the candidate. And what did he get in return? Trump. A promise of, of a lesser sentence? What did he get no, in return? Nothing. He has said, I will tell the truth to whoever asked me to appear. But he Are hasn't you, done that in return for anything. Is this That's the when beginning? He me, okay, he let me that. ask you this. Is this a deal in order to make a deal? No. Uh, is he hoping to get something in the future from no. the feds? Is he hoping that he has more information that will help him get a less jail time? No. He said in court under oath using words provided and corroborated by prosecutors that the no. president of the United States committed a felony. That's exactly what he said. I don't know what Ms. Sanders is talking about. If he's guilty of doing what his client tells him to do, which is to pay money to keep somebody silent for the principal purpose of political effect. That's a crime. That's a felony. If that's guilty, then the client who instructed and coordinated him doing that, yeah. hiding the fact that he was behind it, is also guilty of the same crime. There's no way to escape that conclusion and no deal. All right, let me ask you a few questions about you. Have, you've teased out that he has some interesting things to say to prosecutors in New York, prosecutors in Washington, D.C., including Mr. Mueller. First, let me ask you about in New York. I know there's a subpoena that was issued by the state of New York involving their investigation into the, to the charitable aspects of the Trump Foundation. Um, they issued the subpoena today. Is Michael Cohen going to comply? Of course. I uh, received a phone call about receiving the subpoena. I referred it to my cohort, uh, Guy Petrillo, who is the criminal right. defense lawyer who handled the case for Michael with the prosecutors. And uh, it will be received and accepted in New York. But uh, Mr. Cohen uh, will accept subpoenas. He will do exactly as he did with the FBI agents who raided on a Sunday morning, everything he ever possessed, including his children's right. cell phones. He thanked them for being polite. And when he was processed in, through the courthouse, he thanked the individual marshals for being polite. That's who Michael Cohen is. Do you believe he's still under investigation by the Southern District of New York um, or, or by Robert Mueller when it comes to things like his relationship with Novartis or AT&T and what may have been promised? First of all, um, I don't know what you mean by relationship. He had clients. There's only right. innuendo would suggest no, there's something. No, I, I wasn't trying to innuendo. No, I, I, I wasn't know, accusing it, you. I okay. wasn't accusing you. I'm asking, I, uh, is he still under is investigation no. for this? Not that I'm aware of. The answer is no. He made uh, a, a plea of guilty. Does this and mean took that, responsibility. that so that does that mean SDNY promised they weren't going to pursue the pay to play allegations? No promises about the future no commitments or deals, he took responsibility and pled guilty. And I am again giving you the big story. I, uh, I understand, I understand that. The big story is President Trump is guilty of a felony 
according to the Southern District of New York prosecutors. And uh, by the way, the of that guilty of plea, plea, do they have more than just Michael Cohen's word? Do they have physical evidence um, physical in addition evidence. that that helps uh, that helps corroborate Michael Cohen's testimony? The Trump Organization and the spokesman, Mr. Giuliani, has already stated publicly that the $130,000 payment was made, despite Ms. Hicks, the campaign spokesman, saying it was that, never made. But does the SDNY have physical evidence in their hands, that, I, I, or is this still on Michael Cohen's word um, versus the president's word? If I was trying to give you your answer, Chuck. The answer okay. is, number one, the Trump team and Mr. Giuliani have admitted that the money was paid. Number two, there is physical and electronic evidence that the money was paid to Ms. Daniels from the Trump uh, conduit, who was Mr. Cohen, and it's all documented. So the answer is, if you're looking for documentary electronic evidence that the money was paid two weeks from the election for the principal purpose of right. avoiding the bad publicity, that is documented in the case, yes. Did he, did, can you say that Michael Cohen consulted with anybody else on the campaign other than Mr. Trump? Consulted about making those payments? Yes, sir. There were other people involved, some of them named individual one, individual two from the campaign, some named uh, as people within the Trump organization without their names attached. So there were other people involved in the chain of events. Just to remind your viewers, it's pretty simple. $130,000 need to be paid to Ms. Daniels. Uh, Mr. Trump directed personally him to Mr. Cohen, I, paid I hundred and thirty thousand dollars, and it's all documented by the prosecutors in New York. I, I understand, but do they have evidence else. on the on one specific charge? This idea that President Trump, then candidate Trump, directed Michael Cohen to do this, other than Michael Cohen's word that the president directed him to do this. Do they have other physical evidence that the president directed Michael Cohen? I understand the physical evidence of the, of the money transfers and all of that, but does he have evidence? Is it, is it more taped conversations? Is that the evidence? Well, the prosecutors may have evidence they haven't revealed. All I've read is the criminal information in which they state that there are individuals from the Trump campaign and from the Trump organization who were involved and Mr. Giuliani said, yes, Mr. Trump knew that he had to reimburse Mr. Cohen for the advance made for this payment. Is there any independent evidence that Mr. Trump said to Mr. Cohen, you need to do this, I don't want to do this? That may come down to Mr. Cohen's word versus Mr. Trump's. And okay. we'll uh, have to just, now that there's a guilty plea, wait to see whether Mr. Trump is willing under oath to say what Mr. Cohen said under oath, which is that he was directed by Mr. Trump to do this. Has the Southern District of New York released Michael Cohen to the point of if Congress wants him to testify tomorrow, which you said he'd do so without immunity, let's say he got invited to the, uh, either the Senate or the House Judiciary Committee to, to testify tomorrow, could he do that? Would the Southern District let him do that, or are they not done with him yet? I, I really don't know the uh, explicit answer, but I think there's an implied answer. He is allowed to travel to Washington under the terms of whatever arrangements have been made, and it uh, strikes me that they would not block uh, a congressional request, but I don't know specifically whether that's true, Chuck. Uh, can you say definitively whether you know if Michael Cohen ever was in Prague in 2016? Never, never in Prague. Did I make that? Never, never, never in, in Prague. Prague. Ever, South ever. And the reason, just to let your viewers know what we're talking yep. about, is that the dossier, so-called, yes. mentions his name 14 times, one of which is a meeting with Russians in Prague. Yep. 14 times false. It was posted as an extensive right. letter rebutting, but about Prague, which is an illusion and That's been repeated and, uh, in, okay. infinitely. The answer is no, never. All right, one other thing to clear up. Yesterday, the Senate uh, uh, chair and vice chair of the Intel Committee said that they understood they'd been in contact with you, and I, I, I assume it's you, the lawyers, and Mr. Cohen, about perhaps new testimony involving the infamous Trump Tower meeting. You had said that he had information on that. Um, but the two senators said that Mr. Cohen's testimony, that he stands by it and doesn't change, which means he 
what you know does he have information about that meeting or not and should is is it accurate that his testimony shouldn't uh, is his testimony that he gave six months ago to the Senate Intel Committee is still accurate the testimony was accurate you noted something that I said in fact what I said was I'm not the source and I can't confirm that story and at some point all of the story will be able to be told. I can't go into it any further now, but his testimony was accurate. Lanny Davis, I will leave it there. Uh, attorney, you. One of the attorneys for Michael Cohen, thanks for coming on. Much appreciated. Thank you, Chuck.